Well, I was a classroom teacher for 12 years, and um, a music position opened up, and I was fortunate enough to be hired. And I thought there has to be a better way to reach these students than the traditional ways that I had been taught. The sense of risking something new is what keeps teachers from burning out and the idea that you would want to stretch yourself a little bit might be useful as you consider the work that you're doing with your students. The little mice are nibbling, nibbling, nibbling. The little mice are nibbling in the house. I walked into my daughter's music class and on a year that I wasn't teaching and there was some really incredible thing happening in there, some magic I couldn't readily identify. And I came back to school in the afternoon and talked to her teacher and I, I said, I introduced myself and I said, I just want to know what your philosophy of music education is. <laughs> It would be important for you, I think, to have an idea that maybe there is more to music education than learning how to read notes or singing. We have to be creative in the classroom. If a, a, something comes up in the classroom that demands you jump away from what you had planned to do, uh, you better leave the plans lying on the floor someplace. And as a, a first year teacher, you've got to do that. You've got to have those things that will grab the kids' attention and um, excite them. And I want you to tell us how we're going to say that one word in a different voice, not our regular speaking voice. Here we go. Spring forward, spring forward, time to change the time to change the spring forward, spring forward, hickory dickory dock. All the things that I believe children should be doing. All the things that I want children to be doing in my classroom are found in the elements of Warf Schulwerk. Those elements are singing and speaking and playing instruments and moving. Speech, song, instruments, and movement. When you find a system in which all of those things are encouraged, you can work on improvisation and creativity, you can work on your own singing, you can work on the idea of creating music and embrace those in, as a totality. It's a whole fresh and wonderful new world of music education. Schulwerk approach embodies all of music through speech, movement, song, melody, harmony, and expressive elements. Um, they dance, they move, they sing, they play, they create, they improvise. Um, and they, they really don't need anything but themselves and their openness to making music. I think it's important as we talk about Orff Schuwerk that it's more than just a choral music program or a singing program. And Orff Schuwerk sometimes is mistaken to be the instruments or it's mistaken to be recorder programs. Orff Schuwerk is a philosophy. Karl Orff felt that students needed to create first. What we're teaching is a lot more than music and yet the skills in music are also very important. And I think that the the different processes that we go through in Orff Schuwerk train children very powerfully for lifelong learning. Over the sea, I see ya. Pink pig oinking at me. For me, teaching Orf Schulwerk has been such a, a great way to have my career develop. And I would say to any new teacher, it's the way to go because it isn't an end. It's a process, it's a pathway. It's a pathway for the child and it's a pathway for the teacher, for the music teacher. What I would tell a new teacher, and what I do tell new teachers, is that your education is just beginning when you graduate from, from college, and that you need to attend workshops, attend conferences, read, talk to other teachers, join the chapter, join the community. What 
happens often with the beginning teacher and what happened with myself is when we start teaching we um, can feel very isolated and teaching can be a very lonely profession even though we are surrounded by groups of children all day long usually we're the only adult in the class most music teachers are going to go into the field they're going to be the lone music teacher out of fifty or sixty teachers there's one music person and the music program is different and there isn't somebody that you can share ideas with but through the Orff Schuwerk Association, the American Orff Schuwerk Association, and the local chapters, you can meet other people who are in that same field that you are in, that are having the same problems that are you, you are having. Or maybe they had those problems before and they found a solution for it. Maybe they're having a problem that you found a solution for. And by the sharing of ideas, you become a better music teacher and the students have a better learning experience. Baby, shake down high and he shake down low, a and a it's very exciting to know that uh, people who thought they could not be involved in live music making are discovering that this is something for everyone to enjoy. All right, so you have the idea. Yes, it would be my biggest problem. <laughs> yeah, I can't get it. Yes, yes, Never yes. Wait. It's a whole it's new a problem. It's a whole new set of tricks there. I want to find a principal that will let me try uh, an ORF ensemble in the junior high. That would be so cool. Well, to me, it seems that most of the people who come to the ORF workshops have an opportunity to explore in ways that they didn't know and to have that come out and to discover that in yourself is one of the best gifts in this world. I went to a workshop in Southern California with Randy and Jeff. He dropped me off there, I think. Mm. And it was, it was fabulous. I thought, this is the way to reach children. It addresses so many of their needs, their need to move, their need to be active, to sing and participate. And it just, it sold me right there. Somebody asked me to go and take an Orff Schuver class, to go and take, it was an introductory class, um, but it just lightened, just enlightened my music education. Suddenly, I realized what did I need to do. Suddenly, I had the tools that I needed to reach the students. You know, when you go to an Orff conference, they ask someone, we need an idea, and there's 100 ideas presented, even if there's only 20 people in the room. That's just what the process draws out of people, just a huge sense of creativity. They go every Friday, I think, in April. As a first year teacher, I felt very confident. I felt that uh, my musicianship was, was very good and that uh, my teaching skills were very good as well. And started teaching and started to encounter problems that hadn't come up in, in methods classes. Coming out of undergraduate method study, oftentimes you're not you're not given the, the information you need to work with specific students that you have in your building. But coming from an Orff Schuwerk and getting the Orff Schuwerk training, suddenly I knew how to start, how to approach those students, how to get students actively involved in music. I knew how to get students up and moving around in the classroom. And I knew that I could do that. The, my studies and my training taught me that it's okay to move the chairs to the sides of the room and let the kids get up and move around the room. It's okay to have a classroom that seems to be slightly out of control because the students are all in this wonderful, exciting process of creating ideas. Um, and after we had worked on that, after I had done my first initial training and went back into the classroom and started using some of those ideas, my teaching came alive and I found my niche. I knew where I belonged and I knew that I had to be in a school where Orff Schuwerk was part of what was happening. Folk music powerful forms of music which exist around the world have always been left out of our basic educational systems. Orff Schulberg opened those doors. You can pass these stones from one to another and engage in a whole group activity 
All of these things help children to really build their self-esteem. It really helps them to explore their creative natures and it just provides for them a just a lifelong positive experience of music. Mm -hmm. I think um, as a young teacher you have a lot of decisions to make. You know, there's many different avenues you can go into, but Orff Schulwerk for me has been the perfect avenue and I would encourage any young teacher to investigate it. To be able to connect with somebody who has the same kinds of experiences with you on a daily basis is really difficult and if you make those connections with your local chapter, with the National Association, then you are empowered. If you are a new teacher just beginning this incredible career that you're going to be involved in, hopefully for the rest of your life, I really encourage you to link yourself with American North Schulwerk and, and people who have been involved in this. Master teachers, read, learn everything you can because you'll get closer to children and you'll do more for them and for yourself as well. Orff Schulwerk will change your life. Um, its demands are many and its rewards are incalculable. It's never too late to start. You're never too old, you're never too young. And the beauty of Orv is it takes you from where you are personally and begins your growth there. I think you'll have as much fun making music as the children do. Teachers need to become interested in this method yesterday. We need you. How about that? <laughs> No, you need but us. But we do. You need us. You, <laughs> we need you, each other. That's right. See? And I would say for the people who don't see themselves as risk takers, I would say walk in the door and try it and you'll find out very quickly that um, it's not as hard as it looks. I urge everybody who is coming out into education to look at Orff Schwartz, but especially music people. If you want your teaching to be alive, if you want your teaching to have students actively involved, if you want your, your principal to truly appreciate what you're doing in the music classroom, you really need to look at the Orff Schwartz.